so today what we are going to do is we are going to smooth out the edges of my boat prop. I am getting a new prop, so don't say just buy a new prop in the beginning of the of boating season. So until they're done uh, trenching out the, the lake uh, and river, I will be using the older one until that's done. Then I'll put a new prop onto the boat. But what I want to do is because what I periodically when I'm on the water and I go inside, I make sure that the prop is actually not uh, broken. So and the prop is there. Uh, and so what I want to do so I don't cut myself, I want to smooth out the edges a little bit so I just could easily grab on the grab the blade and not worry about slicing up my hand. So we are going to use the Ryobi BG612G uh, bench grinder. And to put the prop on, we're going to use the DeWalt uh, half-inch impact wrench uh, DCF894. Now this goes on 45 to 80 inch-pounds of torque. So just a few seconds of impacts of this should do the trick to where it's going to be on there without uh, slipping off and it's not going to be too tight. So this is my first time actually using this. This is one of the first tools I bought uh, a year and a half ago. But this is model number a BG612G, 120 volts at 60 hertz, uh, 2.1 amps, and 3600 RPM. Now I do have the original grinding wheels on there. Uh, this is uh, a type, type A36N5V metal. The other wheel is type A60N5V metal. So obviously they're both from metal. One is a finer grain. And the other one is a rougher grain. So we are going to use the finer grain because this is a aluminum that we're, uh, that we're uh, grinding up. I haven't even turned this on yet, and I'm excited. This does have uh, work, work lights. Yeah, and like I said in previous videos, this is my favorite impact wrench. It is powerful, and it looks seriously awesome. And those two combinations is why this is my favorite impact wrench. All right, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Like I said, I just want to make this edge smooth. So let's start off with this. It's not loud at all. That's actually extremely quiet. But as soon as you touch the metal to that, yeah, then it's loud. Get my Attack Life Impact Rated Sockets. Let's find out what size I need. Twenty-four or bigger. Perfect. Twenty-seven. Put that on the. Perfect. That's what's up. All right. First, you go on like that. Then you go on like so. Put this on low. We do not need much power. Make sure that those stay. All right, we could probably go on high. Need to back it off a little bit. Yeah, it's very important if you put this pin has to be in place. Very important. There we go, that's good. Maybe one more little click. Perfect. It's on there good. It is on there good. All right, so as you can see, that's a simple solution to clean up your prop if it's too sharp, if it hit uh, 
the bottom of the ocean or a lake. As long as it's not completely torn up, then there's no then there's no issues. I learned my lesson. Uh, so for now on, uh, I'm only going to use a brand new prop when it's about a month into the season because that's just going to get torn up because the sediment on the side just it just moves around all the time because it's a flowing river. And so uh, the water wasn't uh, deep enough uh, at the time of the year. Uh, so it was deeper about a, a week later. So now uh, in the beginning of the season, which is now, I use an old prop and put a new prop on as soon as the water rises. So that's a quick, easy solution to smooth out the surface if, you're, if your prop's a little chopped up and to put it on. This makes uh, a world of a difference. And when it comes to actual it tightening, all you need is a few seconds. You know, you're not gonna go crazy and have it as tight as possible because it, it's a nylon nut. So yeah, just a few seconds of this, very slowly, then you're good without stripping the threads or the nut so your prop's just gonna fall off later. I was at the, the Hilti store and they had an old blue bench grinder, old blue Ryobi bench grinder on there and, and they use it all the time. So bench grinders, you don't really, it doesn't really matter what brand you buy because they all work the same, they're all gonna last long you know, and so bench grinders are bench grinders, you know, so like th this is this worked perfectly. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.